The VoxyBox is a volumetric display. Can you tell me what that means? The VoxyBox is a volumetric display, which means rather than looking at a view of something, we're creating a model of something in physical space. So think of 3D printing. Rather than printing a, an object out of layers of plastic, we're printing an object out of layers of light. Cool. So what's happening is that platform's moving up and down really, really fast. You've got a projector underneath, That's which right. is shining a 2D slice That's right. of the image. That's right. And because the platform's moving so fast, all those slices kind of come That's together. That's right, yeah. We use persistence of vision, which is the, the human eye's inability to track objects really fast. So if you've ever had a campfire uh, where you've picked a burning stick out of a fire and, and drawn circles in the air, uh, then obviously there's no circle in the air, right? You're just seeing the trace of the sparks left behind in the air. So with a burning stick, you can create a circle. With millions of points of light moving through space, you can create tangible three-dimensional objects. And how does that differ from a hologram or yeah. even 3D TV? So 3D TV is not actually 3D. When you go and watch Avatar or a 3D movie, you're watching a stereographic image, okay? So that's left and right eyes are seeing two separate images and your brain is creating an illusion of 3D. But that illusion is based on a viewpoint that someone has already decided upon. So the James Cameron, when he's directing Avatar, would have chosen the position of the camera. And when you look at that image, those two images, you create uh, a 3D-like image in your head. So what we're doing is creating physical three-dimensional object. So it's like the Voxy Box, you could think of it as a bridge between the digital and the physical world. So you're taking digital data in coordinates, X, Y, and Z, and you're printing them inside of volume, inside of 3D space. And so the object has a length, a breadth, and a height. Thanks so much, Gav, for taking the time to chat to us. And I'm really excited about what's next for the Voxybox.